Hey YouTube, it's been a long time. Stony coming back at you. Well, I get a lot of questions and comments throughout my videos and messages. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Been gone a while. Yes, I have. Like I said, maybe in one of my last motto videos that, um, you know, things happen in life. Things change. And, uh, Last year was kind of a rough year, and uh, we're past that now, and, well, this is what I've been doing. I've been working on these um, lawnmowers. I have a few. A couple. <laughs> but, um, other than that, that's, I still work doing tents. Um, I had changed uh, jobs. That was a little nerve-wracking after 14 years being in the same place. Um, but you know, things happen, that's life, but yeah, so let's get to this. I don't do models anymore, I kind of wasn't fun to me anymore, um, I just, it's not, I did a lot with it, you can see all my videos, I won't remove them because I did enjoy it and that's what I like to do, and I just, I'm kind of done with it, I just had my fun with it, but I'll leave the videos for people that like to watch it, I mean, but if you like this stuff too, I mean, to me it's not really, I don't care about the views, I don't care about subscribers, I don't even care about the comments, you know. I don't make a cent off YouTube, I never have and I never will. Something happened with that way long ago and I just do videos for entertainment, for myself, for later on and if people want to watch them, that's cool. So it's not about money, I don't care if you subscribe, I don't care if you like, if you dislike, I don't care. It, 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 you know, none of that <clears throat> statistics of that means anything to me. You know, it, it's just, I'm just here to put up videos for entertainment. There's no money involved. I don't make a cent. I never will, never have. And every video I've ever done has been for non-profit. So, you know, I don't bait, you know, clickbait. There's, there's nothing there. You see what you get. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Move on. But as we go... This is what I'm doing. Oh, this one right here. This is a freebie. This is, obviously, I mean, look how bad that gets. I mean, there's nothing good about this. Um, I just took it because it was free. Sorry about my camera. It's been a long time. This is an old camera, too, so I don't know how it's going to come out. So that's going to the scrapyard. Um, I had another one of these with a snowblower on it, and uh, I sold it. I don't think I'll use this for anything. It has the high-low... Um, good tranny has the, you know, the, I like these, I've had one, and I had it on my, the one I sold the snowblower, but they're so finicky, the carbs are so old, they're so, uh, it's a maintenance thing, like every time I wanted to use it, I had to clean the carb, so, I got rid of it, I'll probably part out this engine, or sell this engine, and the rest of this is gonna go to the scrapyard, I'll save the hood, I'll save the bumper little thing there, but, I'll save the rear axle, but that's going to the scrapyard. Um, I got a few trailers in the mix. Came along the way. They'll be gone this season. Uh, here's one of the. This is scrap too. I actually had end of just before winter hit. I had roughly a hundred and oh god, it's got to be up like 150 motorcycles given to me for scrap. I took quite a few and I still have quite a few, but if anybody wants to see videos of that process, I could throw those up, but I've been doing some of that, so I do have, I got a lot of motorcycles. Um, got this one in not too long ago. I paid 40 bucks for it. It has a good uh, MST206 rear end in it. You know, has that nice second gen steering. These are great. I'm probably going to turn this into an off-roader just because I'll put the dock locker 2.0 in the back. And uh, it has a cast iron factory, which is nice. And with the second gen steering, so these are really ideal for uh, doing some off-roading stuff with. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that one. This one's going to be a mower again. That's how I got it. It was really cheap. And uh, 
that I'm Mogan, but, um, oh yeah, so we were going to see a few. Another craftsman here. This one is, that's actually my brother's craftsman right here. Sorry if I'm too zoomed in. That's my brother's craftsman. This is my brother's, um, Murray. He's already getting ready to go. I'm way behind. I haven't even worked on my stuff yet, but put some, uh, I don't even know what size those are, maybe 22 11 8 on the back. ATV tires, and these are factory tires off a um, Honda riding mower rear engine. Um, this one is completely parts. It looks like you can do something with it, but to me, no. It's not a mower because in these Craftsman mowers, if you see the four bolts right there where this bolts in, that means it's a cable style deck. This is a, um, a rod style, two connecting rods to engage the deck. Those rods are hard to find, so once I get them in, I just strip the parts because it's not even worth me trying to find them. Cable style, I can fix it all day. Uh, I'll save the motor. Um, a lot of good parts, you know, the steering would be good for another one, another bumper. This was a five hour lawnmower right here. So, I mean, tires hold air, everything else is good on it. I can use all those parts on a, on a grass cutter. Like I said, this is my brother's Murray, wide body. He's getting that ready. Alright, we'll go over one more. Hope I'm not walking too fast, keeping this steady. I picked this one up out of the junkyard last year. Um, I think the fuel pump's gone in it. I didn't... Yeah, and it's one of these. I'll probably just put one of the plastic ones on, bypass all this, and fix it. But, eh, not bad for pulling it out of, out of a junkyard. Somebody threw that away. So, that one won't be staying. That'd be fixed. It. Gone. Ah, then over here. Here we got Deuce Alice. That's how I got it. I really bought it because I wanted the tires. But, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. It's all original, which is nice. Um, it actually runs... Oh, these stupid things. Let's see if I can... Yeah. But... Minus that little... That kind of stinks. But... That is it. That is the deuce. I got a good deal on that too. But... I mean, I pretty much got it for what one of those back tires would cost. So... And they're all new. They're all new, front and back. We got another 1,000 over here. That doesn't need much. That'll be gone. Another 1,000 here. Needs a deck. I have a whole bunch of decks in my storage. That'll be gone. This was a DLT 4,000 I picked up. Had a blown motor. I had a motor sitting around that needed a uh, uh, decompression thing on the cam. So I took the blown motor, I took that, it still had the good cam and a good um, decompression spring on it. Slapped it in this motor that it was bad in and I just got to put the pulley and stuff back on and it's a nice uh, DLT 4000 with uh, I think 400 hours on it. So I'll fix that one up. That'll be gone. Ah. What is this one? I don't even know. This is another 1000. Cable style though, so. These wheels and stuff. That'll be gone. I'm going to fix that and get rid of it. Another one. This one actually has the. It's the old style, but it actually has the rods on it. I think it just needs a deck belt. 
Uh, and then I won't be keeping that one. Or that one. I, I always really stick with this Craftsman, obviously. That's another one. This one will also be fixed back up as a grass cutter. That one be gone. And there's another Simplicity. Regent. Uh, that one just needs a... I don't have a... Uh, I don't have the right... Oop. This is the wrong um, airbox cover. You can see it doesn't fit properly. That's the only thing wrong with this, and it needs a starter solenoid relay. That ain't nothing. And of course they cob job some breakery here, so if you want to put on the thing, it kind of lifts. Uh, so I'll have to do something with that. Uh, I use this to tow the dead ones around the backyard. I'm stocked up with tires right now. But that was a cool score. I pulled this from the junkyard. Little uh, flatbed trailer. It fits a mower on there. No problem. Got a little winch up front. I think I only paid 30 bucks on that from the junkyard. Put a piece of plywood on it. Made some little ramps for it. Works great. Especially for these ones like this. You know, you got to push that around your backyard or tow it. I load it right up on a trailer and good to go. Okay, let's go back to the other side. Here I got a, this was a freebie to me. MTD. Honest with you. Sorry about this, guys. This is good motor. I'll save that. Brass scrapyard. Has no purpose. And I got another one of those Murrays with those googly eyed crazy hoods. Right there. Um, I may make this a grass cutter. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm not very sure. It's not that good of a, I don't know. I could make it an off-roader and just get rid of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I haven't decided. The only reason I say that is because I got this. You know, that's that's my square body craftsman. This thing runs, moves. Something wrong with the deck, but I haven't decided what I want to do with it. It's in good shape, actually. It only has the four speed. But a little leaven on it. Original motor. All original. They even got a tube in bagger complete setup for it. And then we got this. Sorry, this is let me uh let me see if I can set you down for a minute. Oh, sorry, I moved that too quick. Right here is my 85, I think. LT2 or LT12 Ford. I call this a junkyard dog. Maybe I'll slap in a picture right here. This thing was about 30 minutes from being in a big scrap pile at the junkyard. I just pulled in at the right time. It didn't have no motor on it. Without the motor, it had no motor. I threw that on from a Toro I scrapped. And the back tires were flat, front tires were something. I'm changing these tires anyways. I got ag tires for these. But I offered him 20 bucks. He took it. Transmission still there, everything was still there, just missing the motor. And I'm just gonna clear coat it. I'm not even gonna repaint it. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. But that's probably gonna be uh my second off-roader because I, I just think I like this tractor that's cool all right here we got um, YS 4500 that deck actually goes on that machine because it's a 42 inch deck and this machine takes a 46 inch deck and it has no motor. So the chance of me actually finding one of those decks 
are probably slim. I'll probably just throw one of those carts with it and make it a yard cart and let it go like that. Ah, that explains that red one right there. They kind of came as a package deal. This was a $10 mower I bought. Almost been sitting here probably over a year now. I finally got a deck for it, so I'll probably get that put back together. And this, this is another decent score. Found it in an alleyway for garbage. I know it's gonna need some motor work. Look at that. Look at how much oil. And then it's a bad sign anyway, because it's you no know, small engines. Look at that. Yeah. So I'll probably just throw a Oppy twin. Post twin in there and call it good. And we got this little guy. I don't know what this little guy is. I can't figure out what this little guy is. I've looked and I've looked. And I've looked. <clears throat> but I don't know. But it's cool. This is my brother's. He's going to make something. A little, kind of like a tractor cart out of it. So it'll be pretty cool. This summer. Alright. So now you've seen all these. All these mowers. Cover this Ford back up. That's the only one I, I kind of I really like the Ford. That was a good find. I know we don't see those around here. So I mean, the gist of it all, I'm only keeping probably three of these machines. There's that stupid hood. Decks. Try to walk a little slower here. This is a nice one. It's the LTX. Um, this one runs good. Got the uh, 20 horse Intec. Twin cylinder. Runs good. Front end is uh, obviously uh, the problem with this. So it needs front end work. Deck work. But maybe some seat work. What's nice about these ones compared to the typical ones is they got that second gen steering in them which most LT1000s do not <sighs> we got an LT2000 double bagger this one runs nothing wrong with it this needs to go There's a, oh, another cart. Then, I haven't got to this one yet, but look, that was a nice one. Yeah. I actually, it's the only one I've actually had to uh, second guess why they're giving it to me. It seems alright, I haven't started it up yet, but it has compression and everything. I, I can't figure it out. Maybe it stalled, the starter went, something. But I got there and I literally had to call the guy back. And I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yep, just get it out of my yard. So be it. That's a nice machine. I got a, I got the sun, brand new um, sunshade for it too. And we got, oh, we ain't done. Oh, another LT1000. I'll put that one back together and get rid of it. This is my brother's keeper. This was a cool score. All original. I got the nice, nice hoods on them too. Very nice tractor. Um, I think he's just gonna keep it original. It'll be going undercover here soon, but. And what we got here? Another LT1000. Uh, LTS1500 double bagger. Another LT2000. This one has an electrical problem. Keeps blowing a relay. I haven't tracked it down yet. And 
Double bagger DYT 4000. Runs great. This one's ready to go. Oops, oops. Oh, I hit the zoom button. Oh boy. Sorry, folks. Let's see if it'll. Great. Oh man. A little water. Alright folks. Sorry about this video, how bad it may be. Bad uh, governor on the inside. That's what I've been up to. Um really been trying to clean up a little bit here. I've kind of been um, collecting all winter. And now it's time to uh, get rid of it all. But I will have some off-road mower stuff coming up soon. If people want to see it. If they don't, eh, I would just uh, maybe do a couple slideshow videos for myself so I have it for future uh, reference. Alright folks, until next time, that is Stoney's massive um, collection of uh, lawnmowers, but uh, they'll all be gone. Like I said, I could do videos on fixing them, but I mean, you can watch Musty One and there's other people out there that fix these. I kind of go fast through them and... I think videotaping would kind of slow me down anyways. Maybe one here and there, but I don't know. Like I said, Musty One does a lot of these videos and they're great. And you can go see all that stuff right over there. And uh, cause that's, that's pretty much what I do. I work full time and now in my free time, I fix a couple lawnmowers. All right, folks, until next time, Stony out.